Good evening and welcome to Mitcham Parish Church as we conclude our novena of prayer on this, the ninth day. Tomorrow is the Feast of Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit. And we give thanks to God for the gift of his love and his spirit which gives us strength. Tonight we celebrate the first evensong of Pentecost and so instead of the canticle between the two readings tonight we will say the Veni Sancte Spiritus, Come Holy Spirit, which copies some of the words from what is known as the Golden Sequence. As we continue to pray, Thy Kingdom come. Let us pray for all of those whom we wish with no Christ, with no God, and with no the renewing spirit that Christ brings to us through his resurrection and the gift of the spirit which follows. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, and clothe your people with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To you be glory and praise for ever. Raised to your right hand on high, the ascended Christ shows the Prince of Love, and bestows on us the gifts of grace. As your spirit renews the face of the earth, may we bring forth the fruit of the spirit and reveal your glory in all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Creator, Spirit, Lord of grace, come make in us your dwelling.
evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 1, Psalm 48. We have waited on, on your, your loving kindness, kindness O God. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. In the city of our God, his holy mountain is fair and lifted high. The joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great King. In her palaces, God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. For behold, the kings of the earth assembled. and swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded. Dismayed, they fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, they arrived like a woman in labour. As when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we had heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God. God has established her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. In the midst of your temple, as with your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion rejoice, and the daughters of Judah be glad. Because of your judgments, O Lord. Walk about Zion, and go round about her. Count all her towers. Consider well her bulwarks, pass through her citadels, that you may tell those who come after that such is our God for ever and ever. It is he that shall be our guide for ever. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy, the 16th chapter, beginning at verse 9. You shall count seven weeks. Begin to count the seven weeks from the time the sickle is first put to the standing grain. Then you shall keep the festival of weeks to the Lord your God, contributing a free will offering in proportion to the blessing that you have received from the Lord your God. Rejoice before the Lord your God, you and your sons and your daughters, your male and female slaves, the Levite residents in your towns, as well as the strangers, the orphans and the widows who are among you, 
at the place that the Lord your God will choose as a dwelling for his name. Remember that you were a slave in Egypt and diligently observe these statutes. You shall keep the festival of Sukkot for seven days. When you have gathered in the produce from your threshing floor and your wine press, rejoice during your festival you and your sons and your daughters, your male and female slaves, as well as the Levites, the strangers, the orphans, and the widows resident in your towns. For seven days you shall keep the festival of the Lord your God at the place that the Lord will choose. For the Lord your God will bless you in all your produce and in all your undertakings, and you shall surely celebrate. For the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Come, Holy Spirit, send down from heaven's height your radiant light. Come, lamp of every heart, come, parent of the poor, all gifts are yours. Comforter beyond all comforting, sweet, unexpected guest, sweetly refresh. Rest in hard labour, coolness in heavy heat, hurt soul's relief. Fill the secret hearts of your faithful, O most blessed light. Without your holy power, nothing can bear your light. Nothing is freed from sin. Wash all that is filthy, water all that is parched. Heal what is hurt within. Bend all that is rigid. Warm all that has frozen the heart, led back the lost. Give to your faithful ones who come in simple trust your sevenfold mystery. Give virtue its reward, give in the end salvation and joy that has no end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John, the seventh chapter, beginning at verse 37. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the Spirit, which believers in him were to receive, for as yet there was no Spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Send forth your spirit, we are created, 
you renew the face of the earth. When you send forth your spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. You renew the face of the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When you send forth your Spirit, we are created. You renew the face of the earth. How excellent is your name in all the world. You have set your glory above the heavens. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. How excellent is your name in all the world. You have set your glory above the heavens. Alleluia. Bring our prayers to our Lord this evening, we pray thy kingdom come. Through Christ, who ever lives to make intercession for us, let us pray to the world, thy kingdom Lift up our hearts to the heavenly places. Inspire us to serve you as a royal priesthood. Let us pray to the Lord. Thy kingdom come. Let all peoples acknowledge your kingdom and grant on earth the blessing of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Thy kingdom come. Send down upon us the gift of the Spirit, and renew your church with power from on high. Let us pray to the Lord. Thy kingdom come. May peace abound and righteousness flourish, that we may vanquish injustice and wrong. Let us pray to the Lord. Thy kingdom, kingdom come. Help us to proclaim the good news of salvation and grant us the needful gifts of your grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Thy, Thy kingdom, kingdom come. Let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Thy kingdom come. O God, who at this time taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending to them the light of your Holy Spirit, 
grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort, through the merits of Christ Jesus our Saviour. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.